Alright guys, we got some new claims coming from Iger's lab who now suggest Nvidia is launching Ampere in September and they planning to drop two GPUs for us. We got the GeForce RTX 3080 and the GeForce RTX 3090. Now these claims again are coming from Iger's lab who's been doing some digging into the production timeline for the upcoming Ampere for the GeForce lineup. And the thing is guys, these leaks seems to perfectly align with the time frame and it should also be said that this leak goes right in line with previous leaks as well but it is still worth pointing out what we are about to look at should not be seen as an official statement from Nvidia that said we can be pretty confident that this information is legit and yeah we're gonna look into this leaked stuff in just a second anyway in case you aren't 100% up to date on Nvidia Ampere and you haven't heard about the rumored RTX 3090 before highly recommend having a look at my most recent Nvidia Ampere video released a few days ago where I basically I scheme over the most important stuff such as clock speed, performance, as well as specifications and cooling solution for Nvidia's upcoming RTX 3000 lineup and you'll find that video linked up down below. Hey what is up guys, welcome to Arbin Hardware, my name is Robin, I'm your Swedish host, I'm friend with bad posture and poor accent. By the way guys, there are a ton of reasons to subscribe to the channel as I'm going to keep covering everything worth knowing about both Big Navi and Nvidia. Ampere. In addition to that, I'm also planning a bunch of additional PC builds in the upcoming months ahead. So in other words, you want to make sure you stay subscribed and you click the notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. With that said, let's take a look at the leaked information. Again, coming from Iger Wallacek on Iger's lab. Alright, so it seems like Nvidia is prepping two GPUs for the launch event. We got the GeForce RTX 3090 and the 3080 and it does seem like Nvidia want to launch these alongside each other. Possibly to counter for AMD's launch of Big Navi who is set to release before the upcoming consoles PS5 and Series X and this is not a leak guys this is an official statement from AMD but yeah with that said let's take a look at the expected launch frame for the 3080 and the 3090 so right now it seems like Nvidia is going through the DVT phase which apparently stands for Design Validation Test and this can be seen in this leaked roadmap. As we can see the DVT phase is then followed by the V, uh, sorry WS which stands for Working Sample and this is when we can start looking at early configuration and performance leaks and the WS phase seems to take place in early to mid July. Now the mass production of the cards will begin in August and according to this leaked document Nvidia seems to be prepping for a media event in September where they basically will reveal the RTX 3000 along with some first benchmarks and this once again goes right in line with all the rumors suggesting that Nvidia would create a similar event as they did when they introduced the RTX 2000 and Turing for the first time back in 2018 where they introduced RTX at Gamescom I think it was and then they followed up releasing the cards about a month later. Now in other words guys this means that we can have the media event as well as performance reviews of the cards by September 2020 and this makes ton of sense because if we think about it knowing that AMD is getting ready to drop Big Navi around the same time frame Nvidia simply doesn't want to wait. So now that we know that Nvidia is planning for a September launch we can be pretty confident that AMD is also planning something big around the same time frame as well. So in other words guys there is, seems to be a lot of things happening in September. Alright so to try and sum this up based on this leak guys we believe Nvidia will host an event in late August or possibly in early September possibly at Gamescom and this is where they will introduce RTX 3000 where we presumably get to see a few early performance numbers. Now I don't think we should expect too much here. We expect the release to take place by the end of September. Now Iger also also mentions that the Founders Edition cooler we saw earlier is apparently not final and is actually being developed by two different OEM partners who Nvidia apparently been working with in the past and we believe uh, according to uh, all the leaks that the cooler could cost up to 150 US dollars just to manufacture. In case you're interested in learning a lot more about this pretty looking cooler you'll find that video linked up down below. In case you want to learn more about the specifications for each card I got a video up on the channel that 
covers all the juicy details about the upcoming 3080 and the 3090 and I do want to touch on the naming a bit. Now there is a rumor floating around right now guys suggesting that Nvidia is looking to scrap TI at the end of the upcoming RTX. 3080 and instead of having an RTX 3080 Ti, this card would then be called RTX 3090. But if you ask me, in no way do I think this is accurate. Nvidia has built a Ti naming for years and I definitely don't think they would drop it. Yes, they did scrap the Tesla naming, but that was simply due to they wanted to minimize the confusion to the car company. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's say they launch RTX 3000 with RTX uh, 3080 and the 3090. Let's say Big Navi turn out to be a lot faster than expected. Nvidia could then use TI as a way to counter Big Navi. In other words, they could then follow up the 3090 with a 3090 Ti model with bumped up specs and clock speeds. Again, if Big Navi turn out to be a beast. And by doing so, Nvidia can still stay on top. And so in other words, again, I don't think TI is going away anytime soon. But you know what? I wanna know what you think. Anyway, there is a ton of Ampere stuff that can be found down below. In the meantime, learn a lot more about Nvidia Ampere by watching either of these two videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.